same about Greta. He was a good man. Aye, and he didn't drink much. As for that poor son, Yor, chaining him to the rocks. That was too late a punishment. Should have lashed his skin off. Don't say that. My brother was good. Red, dear, you don't know what you're saying. Your brother was a vile man, a criminal. The quicker you forget him, the better. Be gone, man. Let us mourn in peace. What happened here? My brother? They chained him to the rocks? Because of me? Why because of you? Because... Because... I didn't like my uncle Greta. He was fat and stank. Once... I told my brother that uncle... did bad things to me. Jörg flew in a rage and killed him. Then they caught him and tied him to the rocks. That's how your laws work. A murderer has to be punished, even if he killed to save someone else. But... But... I lied to Jörg. Uncle did nothing to me. He stank and I didn't like him. That's it. And now... Now Jörg will die because of me. Your brother will be fine. I freed him. He's bound to come and find you soon. Truly? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll never tell another lie. I swear it. Oh. <coughs> and? Then what? Then nothing. Never you mind. This here's a job for a witcher. As you wish. What's the problem? A beast. It attacked me. Me and my comrade. We'll gut the fucker. Aye, but not us. The Witcher. Why bother the witch man? Like as not it were a pack of wolves. But they got you so afeard, you shat yourself and sore specters. Let me round up a few sturdy lads and we'll... Won't be needed. The Witcher will help, right? You shan't let us down. Feral folk, dumb as stumps. That hunter, could he be right? Maybe it was just wolves. I knows what I saw. Besides, who's he to say? Those drumming blaggards don't know shite from shoelaces. That particular blaggard was wearing on crate colors. Huh. You sure about that? Sure than sure. Doesn't matter. That lot's not to be trusted either. Monsters attacked me. I need a witcher, not some hunter. Fine. What's this about? Tell me. Me and my mate were on our way here to Fearsdal with a cart full of hides. Suddenly we heard a screech. Our horse got spooked, started kicking, and then monsters jumped out of the bushes. My mate drew the short straw. They got him first. By some miracle I managed to get away. What kind of monsters? Nekuks. No doubt about it. What? You know, sharp claws, animal skulls on their heads, attacking swarms. Neckers? Yeah, Neckers! Near 20 of them. So will you help? Will you kill the bastards? That road needs to be clear. Aim to travel it again soon. I'll help you. Grand! Knew a witcher wouldn't let me down. Not like some waffly prick from Clan Drumdend. Or Clan Drummond. Good luck, witcher. Fare you well. Wait. Where should I look for you? What? Once I finish, where will I find you? Oh, why, oh, I, I, um... Here. I mean, in, in the tavern nearby. I'll await you there. Fine. See ya. The wagon. Need to look around. Must be the comrade of the fellow from Pharaoh. Hmm. Odd. Looks like he died of old age, not because a necker ripped him apart. Gashes like claw marks in its flanks, but it's also got lockjaw and a warped spine, like it might have died of tetanus.
பார்த்தேன் That was close. Something tells me that was no accident. Better investigate. Furrow looks fresh. Boulder must have rolled through here. started here. I think I see some tracks. A necker. Must have waded through mud before arriving here. What's going on here? foot hollowed out inside like a boot someone lost it while running the plot thickens necker paw and a human foot small like a child's clearly running place like this. Looks like the work of a child, or someone who's damned clumsy with a quill. Huh. Two sticks protruding above the shoulder. Think that might be me. Is that a wagon? And here's where that boulder almost crushed me. Necker tracks near the boulder. Now I know where they came from. Just wonder who actually left them. These balls on sticks are Endragas. Guess they were supposed to finish me off. All in all, a pretty elaborate plan. And this must be the meeting place. <laughs> Looks like this whole ambush was a group effort. High time I met the pranksters. A necker, torn apart by something huge, then someone cut its legs off. Must be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like a broken bellows. Another's panting frantically like a deer caught in a trap. And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract. Someone care to explain what's going on here? 
What's going on? Is that your down there? A where up here? That's a situation I can fix quickly. Glitchy thingy no dum dum. The pounding witchy thingy swoop man. That's right. We've caught you. You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful. Oh really? Fact is, I could just turn around and Body Toad! Glitchy thingy gum gum shot keep Wolf Swoop Man. I wonder why he's not already in that shrimp. You were to kill him. <sighs> what? We never said nothing about killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So witchy thingy us scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer, like the rest of them, like the one who killed my Adalia. <sighs> <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A Doppler. But this Witcher didn't kill her, and we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Korid in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena? The Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazaire. He showed her no mercy. <sighs> Verena killed many an innocent. I had to do something. But I've helped monsters aplenty. Yes? Who? Salma, a succubus in Novigrad. Let her go free, even though I knew she'd killed some guardsmen. You mean, even when you know a monster's killed someone, you don't hurt them? If it had good reason. Yeah, sometimes. Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. Not so long ago, I spared the life of a Doppler in Novigrad. He was stealing food for the Scoia'tael. Letting him go cost me a hefty bounty. Well, I'm grateful. Not many of us left. You see? He's not that bad. We should let him go. Let him go? No! So he can track us down and butcher us? I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. You lie. Every Witcher is a murderer. Ah. I kill monsters, true. It's my job. But only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all. Because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only Witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds. Protect both. We kill dangerous monsters, so the thinking ones can live in peace. So you say now, as you stand there, scared, you know we have the upper hand. Ha, ha, ha. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. Let witchy thingy go. Ah! Fools! Gullible as newborns! A just witcher! A kind witcher! A lying witcher! He fiends at all! All humans lie! Let it rest! This is not the way! You shan't bring Adalia back! Ah! Stay here! I'll finish this alone!
You were right. Monsters are like men. Some are good, some are bad, and still others simply lost. That's a right shame. I was different once. Should never have let him talk us into this. Here, a little something from us, so you'll remember not all monsters are dangerous. Thanks. Witcher. Hear about the dragon, I reckon. Tell me about this dragon. What's it look like, for instance? You don't know. What kind of monster slayer are ye? It's got scales, wings, claws. A dragon's a dragon. Go oh, point, Gavin. Just go kill it. Before it makes more corpses. Witchers don't usually kill dragons, but I'll look into it. You said something about victims, right? Two brothers, Askel and Nilis, went out to hunt, turned into prey. Wounds, so horrible. Even I went weak in the knees when they brought them in. And I've seen my share of bloody harm. Been on 32 raids, from Povis to the mountains of... Fascinating story, I'm sure. But I'm more interested in these wounds. Can you describe them? Look for yourself. Family's only now preparing the boy's funeral. Their corpses still lie in their home, at the village's northern end. Treat the bodies with respect, mind ye, as tradition demands. Things are fucking soaked. Well, well. Another come to gawk at the dragon's victims. Perhaps I should start charging for the pleasure. Perhaps. I wouldn't pay you, though. See enough corpses in my line of work. I'm a witcher. Here because I took the contract for that dragon of yours. Oh, for forgive me. I, I didn't know. How, how can I help? Where were the bodies found? In the glade past the river. The lads, they liked that place since they were tykes. They'd go there to catch hares. Might not be easy for you. But I have to look at their injuries. At least you asked me permission, not like the others. If it'll help you kill the beast, fine. Do as you will. That's everything for now. Thanks for your help. And I promise to avenge them. Claw marks, bite marks, but no fire damage. Interesting. Pretty weak dragon. Couldn't lift a cow, just tore it up and left it here. Cow's blood might lead me to the lair. shattered, fell from high up. A nest. A fork tails looks like, but it's empty. No point waiting. Gotta rustle up some bait. So will you help with the dragon, or not? Found your dragon's nest, but I'll need bait to kill it. A sheep, for instance. Ah, I see. Gonna stuff it with sulfur. <sighs> Another ally of the brave little shoemaker. Now I'll manage without sulfur. Just need a sheep, unseasoned. Fine. There's one I can give you. A bit mangy, but it'll do. Know how to get a sheep to move where you want? You've gotta drive it like a sheep dog. Go at it from the left, it'll go right. Go at it from the right, it'll go... If dogs have figured it out, think I'll manage as well. How do you call a sheep? Here, sheepy sheepy? Hey sheep, come here. We got us a fork tail to hunt. 
Giddy up, sheep. Move along. I know you. for a good cause, sheep. Rest in peace. So will you help with the dragon, or not? Solved your problem. And? Is that it? Tell me more. Did the dragon breathe fire, spit venom? That was no dragon. It was a fork tail. Looks similar, but it's smaller. Less dangerous. Less dangerous, you say? But your reward ought to be less as well. Listen, we agreed to a specific sum. Aye, for a dragon. If I'd known it was some forky tail, I'd have killed it myself. That's that. There's a monster. Upcoming session. Fucking swamp this monster's gone. Whoa! Greetings, Watcher. Hear about the missing miners. Might be able to help. What happened? Well, we'd heard tales of silver in the northern hills. And seen as coins needed to ready long ships for raids, we sent a few lads to see how much truth was in the tales. And, well, they've yet to return. Might not be much silver in the hills, but there are monsters, definitely. I'll see if the miners came across any. Thank you, Watcher. Oh, that one. Footprints. Human. Wounds caused by a blunt instrument. Rip cage smashed in. Someone crawled through here with a broken leg. Wind didn't fell these trees. Something else did. Something big. Say out, man. But they wham a wham troll rocks. So troll wham too. Sorry, can't let you get away with this. Greetings, Watcher. Found your miners. They went in a troll's cave and started mining, while the troll was home. Didn't any... No. Troll won't be any more trouble, though. Small comfort. Still earned my reward. 
Yeah, here. Safe journey to you. Bob? What happened? What happened, damn it? Is that I fell and cracked me damn leg in two? Stop whining, Peter. I'm ashamed to hear it. Pull yourself together, man. Worst case, Henrik will whittle you a wooden leg. Old Ola's got one, and you don't hear him complaining. Old Ola's also got lice, stinks, and leaks out of both ends. Yet he don't complain about that either. You two gonna help or no? How do you fall? We set out to light a fire there. Atop of the statue's shoulders. For our own glory and that of our ancestors. Looks like you succeeded. Aye, but the fire won't big so quick Peter jumped back. Lost his balance. Got lucky anyway. Could have broken his neck falling from that height. This statue, what is it? An altar to the god of warriors. Any man who dares climb it and light the fire gains the favor of the gods. Fame and... And an excellent chance of snapping his leg off at the arse. Are you going to help me, or are you going to continue preaching? This celandine should help you. Won't mend your leg, but it will make it hurt less. Thanks. Our undying gratitude, that gets you. The gratitude of a dying man in my case. Enjoy it while it lasts. Shut it and show me that leg. Thanks again. Gods guide you. I'm looking for men from Hundvik. You have oars from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Hadarok. He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Hundvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Galmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete feed that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other as. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oy. Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Huh. Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a wilt looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I'd... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zeracanian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. Need to get to Undvik. Another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close. Lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them's shorter, just below the surface. So careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember. Stick to the point. Oh, oh fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course. Dash against the rocks, even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. Okay.
great. Someone dragged a litter through here. I long to be home To the mother of the To my dog with his pipe To my two And my blood's coursing so It's time, high time And it's home To the modest abode Whose corners are wrong I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Who were these men? My crew? They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar. Wilfred's to his right. And the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all, like he did the others. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know, don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Wilmar, damn it! You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it! We had a choice. I had her starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew. 
aim to defeat the giant. Aye, saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in, neath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy's not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmer? Oh, I aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, guarding absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Hjalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it. All on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Broken back. As if he fell from a height. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Taken by surprise, they came through here. But they fought off the attack. Separately. These and tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. Landed smack in a Necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these Skelligers. One arrow in each. Good eye. Someone used this as cover. Got hit good. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Archer finally caught up to him. Now where'd that archer go? Trolls. Dragged him into the cave. Wonder if he's still alive. Something. Huh? Cookie. Hey, you there? Help me! Water's getting hot. Ah! Ah! Shut it. I need that man. No. We win human from mirrors. I figure it <laughs> Play me for the man then. If I win, I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot too. Good! Good! <laughs> no bubble! First riddle. Not eat, not drink. Big he be. Step big he. Big he bash. A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. 
Manage. Let's get out of here. You all right? Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Hjalmar? The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm. Sail whipped about like a rag, finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birthed them arseways or something. Dim that one. Heard tales and was so afeard of sirens he stuffed wax in his ears. Failed to hear our warning calls. Steered us right into the rocks. Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship. Then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. Croc sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young on Crate's return. So it started already. Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him and Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... It was pretty much a shock to everyone. Crack too? Or did he encourage her? Tell her to set off on some mad quest? Wasn't thrilled. Especially since Ceres set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar would only... I should come back, do you know? Hadn't returned when I left Ard Skellig. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had the watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair, in the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling.
Good. Let's go. Signs of a battle. Giant chased them. They ran toward the caves. Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away. Blood. Lots of it. Near twenty of them, but no Yalmar. I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Spigarog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She stayed a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! See your rare to go? I'm telling you! Plow an enormous horse, son, he is! Wonderful. Can't believe I finally got the bastard! Yeah.
Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. I'll cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Getting colder. Gotta be close. Careful now. One odd step and you could wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? Thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big. Looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that, Uncrit. Let me out right now. Wait here. I'll look for the key. Quick! Shut your trap! I sat in a bloody troll cauldron with nary a murmur. Thanks, brother. I remember that. Let's get out of here. Right. Just as soon as I kill him. Best him. Viggy, you daft bastard. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go. Gonna head back to Hard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed the giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. 
Like Ceres? Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead. And the folk of Unvik can go home. And Ceres? She back yet? Hadn't returned when I left Ardskellig. With the speaker rogue, you say? Venture she aims to face whatever slowly killing Udelric. Some say Udelric's the god's chosen one. They also say the gods are merciful. Witcher, uh, I'm sure Ceres would be glad to see me, but you wouldn't happen to be heading to Speaker Rock. Yeah, I plan to go there. Good. Thanks, Geralt. I hope we meet again. Farewell, I'm great. Look there, crew! Whitehair's returned! What brings you to us? I killed the giant. Killed him? Did what my whole crew couldn't? Hear that, lads? Are you not ashamed? When you're done talking to yourself, sail back to Ard Skellig with me. Refugees from Undvik. They found a safe haven there. I... They all fled. See ya. I promised my crew we'd not leave the Isle. And we've still got work to do. Oh, she'll be a lovely longship when we're done. <laughs>